Hey, how's it going, Yankees fans? This is Felix from NYYNews.com. Joe Sherman from the NY Post just recently tweeted this. He said, the Yankees have about $30 million left to complete their 25-man roster. He said, put aside for in-season call-ups, trade acquisitions, potential bonuses for players such as Stanton, CC." Can't create more room by trading Robertson, Warren, or as much as Ellsbury as possible. And again, I guess Joe has a Brett Gardner love fascination as well. I love uh, Joe Sherman's reporting, but they got to start including Gardner into the talks. Before that tweet, he said, with all the arbitration eligible signed Yankees for luxury tax purposes are at a shade under 167 million for 15 signed players what they owe for trades on McCain or McCain I'm thinking about McCain the senator my fault Headley 14 million ish in benefits all teams will be charged so then again the second tweet says the Yankees have 30 million to play with now if you're paying attention it's like a movie it's like a movie script like I said The game has been rigged since the beginning. Stanton, I said Stanton in July. He was going to be moved to the Yankees. This offseason happened. Manny Machado, high possibility still he will be moved to the New York Yankees. Expect Todd Frazier to make his decision this week or the up and coming week. Now, you Darvish. Obviously, the Yankees are making money moves because they want to sign a pitcher via free agency. You can't forget about talks with the Pirates as the Pirates have been playing with the emotions of the Yankees. And Cashmere doesn't like that. The New York Yankees doesn't like that. What is a small market team doing playing around with us? So you can forget the Pirates. So, like I said, high possibility the Yankees sign Hugh Darvish. Talking about Robertson. If the Yankees trade Robertson to clear space, the Yankees have Kane Lee. They have Chad Green, they have Patantas, they have Chapman. They still have a strong bullpen. So losing Robertson won't affect them that much. Only if, let's say, a Chapman or Patantas have bad seasons where they blow saves. And the only option the Yankees have is, let's say, calling in a Robertson from the bullpen to bail them out. But like I said, the Yankees have so many options like a Canely, like a Chad Green. Chad Green can start, let's say, closing out a few games when there's blowouts and see if he has the closer type stuff. So the Yankees have many options. It isn't the end of the world that the Yankees trade Robertson. And there's a lot of people, I mean, there's a lot of teams that will ask for Robertson. A lot of teams in contention like the Diamondbacks. And don't forget Ben Heller, the pitcher the Yankees traded for for Miller. And I'm getting a few comments saying, oh, you say picture, like picture. Well, first of all, I'm Latino and I speak two languages. What do you want me to talk like this? This is Hans Hansberger reporting live for you for New York Yankees News and Entertainment. I have your news today. Would you like to hear it? No, I speak two languages. All right? I don't know if you guys are trolling, if you guys are coming from other teams. But quit with the racist nonsense. We have a whole bunch of diversity in Major League Baseball. I mean, for years, you have players talking with a translator. I mean, God forbid that I wasn't that lazy to learn another language. So, this is Hans Hansberger with the news live from Berlin, Germany, bringing you Yonkers news. Do you know the Yonkers are big here? Major League Baseball is on the come up here in Germany. (laughs) Imagine if I talk like that. So, listen, the Yankees are about to make big moves. If you've seen my reporting from earlier, it's like a script that... I outlined and projected or forecasted. It's like one move is leading to the other. One player signs over here. One player signs over there. It's the domino effect. Yankees clearing up salary space or signing their arbitration eligible players to get a real idea of what or how much money the Yankees can spend without trading a player yet which they are going to do. The Yankees are not going to play around with the arbitration numbers and get everybody signed so fast if they didn't have the idea of signing a pitcher via free agency. 
or trading for a third baseman. I Like I said, I don't see the Yankees signing Todd Frazier for a year. I mean, that's not a wise business decision by Frazier when he has offers from the Mets and the Braves for multi-year deals. So, expect the 89-year-old Peter Angelos to stick to playing bingo this offseason. Let his GM do the work, do the talking, and let's see. Let's see if the Yankees, the Orioles, and Diamondbacks, because you can't make a trade with the Orioles unless the Diamondbacks are included for obvious reasons. That's the only deal that makes sense. Let's see if they all sit down on the table or on or in a conference call, and let's see if they can get a deal done. Obviously, the Yankees are moving to sign you Darvish. After they sign you Darvish, expect a deal like Emmanuel Machado to go down. 70% chance, like I said, once they sign you Darvish, that 70% goes to 80%. So, this has been Felix from NYYNews.com. Make sure you share, subscribe, and like. Get the word out. I appreciate the support. We're building up this channel for me specifically because the other channel was a mixture between Pete and me. Other people like Pete better and other people like me better. So let's build this channel. This channel will be particularly me on it. Make sure you subscribe to NYY News Pete or the Salmonetti Report. You can find them on Twitter if you don't know his link or find his link in the description bar below.